Ukraine destroyed 37% of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Soon, Crimea will be attacked by sea and land. Ukrainian military expert Alexander Musienko commented on the information about the strikes by naval drones on the Russian base in Novorossiysk on the night of July the 3rd. Why is Novorossiysk being attacked now? Because a significant part of the Russian Black Sea Fleet is currently located there. We can now state that 37% of the Black Sea Fleet has already been destroyed and this work continues. Also, it is in Novorossiysk that the carriers of the caliber cruise missiles are currently located and it is very important to get them out there. In addition, Novorossiysk is now becoming a military base to replace Sevastopol in terms of repair capabilities and capacities. Since only there, can certain repair work be carried out that they previously carried out in Sevastopol? Well, Novorossiysk is a large logistics base that meets the needs of the occupiers on the peninsula, Musienko said. He also added that Ukraine is now increasing the number of strikes on the south of Russia. In particular, he recalled the destruction of a warehouse for storing shaheds, an oil refinery and a base that carried out the movement and transshipment of oil products for export. According to the expert, all this testifies to Ukraine's comprehensive strategy for the complete isolation of the Crimean Peninsula, a very important point which shows the complexity of the operation since Ukraine is also striking Crimea, disabling radars there. There have already been strikes on the ferry crossing, and I admit that we will now see the next stages of the implementation of our offensive operation from the air and sea on Crimea. There are already certain signs of this since there are strikes on logistics and they will increase. And what the commander of the Ukrainian Air Force recently demonstrated, how they worked on a warehouse with the ammunition in Crimea, this means that not only radars or space stations will be under attack in Crimea, but also the next stage. This is military infrastructure such as warehouses, military towns and logistics, Musienko added. Recall on the night of July the 3rd, the head of Novorossiysk wrote on his Telegram channel that Russian troops were repelling an attack by unmanned boats. Local residents reported loud explosions in the city and Telegram channels reported a fire in the mountains above the city. F-16s will destroy military targets on Russian territory. Acute phase of air battle in Ukraine begins. Allies have introduced new rules for the use of weapons supplied to Ukraine, which could have a major impact on the use of long-awaited F-16s. The first American-made fighter jets are expected to arrive this summer, Business Insider reported citing experts. That's because Ukraine now has permission to use weapons provided by its allies to strike targets in Russia. George Barros, a military expert at the US-based Institute for the Study of War, said it would make the F-16 more effective. About a month ago, speaking about the F-16, the expert said Ukraine needed the capability, but Russia had a stronger air force and a larger air defense network. I'm actually more optimistic now, he said. Until May, the Allies prevented Ukraine from using the weapons they provided to strike inside Russia. This was a serious disadvantage since Russia could assemble troops and equipment right on the border and launch attacks from places Ukraine could not hit. Many analysts said this meant Ukraine was fighting with one hand behind its back. But in May, many of its allies eased the restrictions. Barros said the lifting of the ban on strikes against Russia meant the expected impact of the F-16s would now be significantly increased. Now I see this glimmer of hope, and now we can start assessing air power, he said. Peter Leeton, a fellow at the Griffith Institute for Asia and a former Royal Australian Air Force officer, said that for the F-16s to be most effective, Russian air defenses would need to be destroyed. The ability to target air defenses hosted by Russia is a big advantage. Barros said Ukraine will likely have too few F-16s this summer to make significant changes. But over time, it could grow into a big effect. He added that the United States lifting additional restrictions would have a greater effect. Ukraine spent the first months of the year struggling with severe shortages of equipment and ammunition. But the US resumed aid in April. Some experts say that should give Ukraine's first F-16s a boost. Although it is unclear how long the US support will last versus when the new F-16s might arrive. Leighton said the F-16s are a boost for Ukraine at a tactical level, but some of the shortcomings in Ukraine might not be as noticeable if the F-16s had arrived sooner.
Ukraine had been asking for the F-16s since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, but U.S. permission to send American jets only came in May 2023.